Hi everyone, so you've heard of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and crypto. Maybe you've heard of DeFi and how a lot of people are making money out there, but you just don't know how to use it. Well, I'm going to show you in a few quick steps how to get started by teaching you to buy and stake CoTrader token on Bancor. Take advantage of those high APR spikes we've been seeing on Bancor, sometimes over 2,500% on LP fees alone. Now this means that as a liquidity provider, or LP, you are earning transaction fees on every trade that goes through this pool on Bancor. So the first thing you'll need to get started on DeFi on the Ethereum blockchain is to get some actual Ethereum. This is what you're going to be buying your other tokens with. So go to Coinbase.com. This is a great website to get started buying crypto. You can register and hook up your bank account here. And you'll notice the buy and sell button here at the top. You can actually buy crypto directly from your bank account right here. So under the buy tab, just change Bitcoin out to Ethereum or ETH and put in the amount you want to buy and go ahead and go through the buying process, that'll put it in your Coinbase wallet. Now you're also going to need another wallet, a web-based wallet called MetaMask. This wallet is going to be used for actually sending and trading all of your DeFi coins. So head over to metamask.io slash download if you don't have it already. You can get it for Chrome or your mobile devices. Just click your tab, install, and it'll give you a set of instructions including a seed phrase which you have to write down and keep in a very safe place. That is the key to your wallet and your entire funds. So write that down accurately, keep it in a safe place, and finish installing. When you're done, you'll have this little fox icon at the top over here. If you don't for any reason, just click on the puzzle piece here for extensions. Make sure there's a push pin highlighted next to MetaMask. Okay, so this is your wallet. Okay, when you first get it for the first time, it's only going to have a receptacle for ETH, for ETH, and it'll be empty. You won't have a balance, okay? So you need to get ETH into this wallet. Now, up here is your account information, and conveniently, you can click that to copy your account number. So wherever you get your ETH, whether it's Coinbase or if you already have some in another wallet, you'll want to send ETH over to this address. And like I said, just copy it onto your clipboard by clicking there to make things easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Back here on coinbase.com you'll see at the top of the screen there's a send receive button. So let's click that. Make sure the send tab is highlighted because we're sending. We're going to change Bitcoin out to Ethereum because we're sending Ethereum. I'm going to hit send all because I don't have very much in here but you can choose how much to send. In the to section, okay, we open up our MetaMask here and like I said you click to copy that information to the clipboard. You go ahead and paste it in there. You hit continue. You say send now and it'll ask for some confirmation. And just like that it's been sent. And I can just check on my MetaMask and it'll take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes to get over there. Now while that's processing, if you like this video and want to learn more about DeFi, be sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe bell for notifications. Okay, you can see it's arrived and now we're loaded up with Ethan, ready to go. Now one thing that you might want to do, since you're going to be buying CoTrader and Bancor tokens, is to add those tokens to your MetaMask so that you can see your balance of those tokens. So what you can do is head over to CoinGecko.com. In the search here, you can just type in C-O-T, find CoTrader, click on it. And you'll see this little fox icon in the contract section there. If you click that, it'll add it to your MetaMask. You'll get some kind of a confirmation pop-up from MetaMask asking to approve that token, no problem. And that'll create the receptacle uh, for that token, just so you can see your balance. You can do the same thing for Bancor token. Just put BNT in there and click there. Click that same fox over here and add that to your wallet. So then you'll be able to see how much CoTrader and how much BNT you have in that wallet. Okay, so back to CoTrader.com, we see this buy and stake button at the bottom right. Okay, so let's click that. Now there are different ways you can buy and stake CoTrader. I'm going to show you how to buy on one inch, this DEX aggregator here, and stake on Bancor. Now one inch is a great place to buy because it splits the trades from all the other exchanges and gets you the best price. And staking on Bancor gets you those APR spikes I mentioned. But you can actually buy at any of these exchanges and you can stake on Uniswap too. The process is basically the same. Alright, let's start with one inch. 
So you head over to one inch. Now, if this is the first time you're here with a brand new wallet, you're not going to be connected. Uh, it'll look something more like this. It'll say connect wallet. Okay, so you connect, you accept the terms, click MetaMask. You'll probably get a pop-up from MetaMask asking to approve the connection to one inch. Just go ahead and confirm that, and you'll know you're connected when you see your account number and your balance up here. Okay, now this brought us to exactly the right place where we can pay with Ethereum to get CoTrader. So just put the amount of Ethereum you're willing to pay here for your CoTrader, keeping in mind that you're going to want to buy an equal amount of Bancor token. Okay, You have to have both tokens in order to stake. So if you're planning on staking, uh, make sure that you're buying an equal value of each. So if I'm going to buy whatever, one ETH or two ETH, or however much I'm going to spend here, uh, I have to be you know, thinking ahead that I'm going to spend the same amount on a uh, Bancor token if I plan on staking. Okay, so choose that. You're going to click swap token. You're going to get some more pop-up confirmations, maybe from one inch as well as MetaMask. You just go ahead and confirm all that, and that'll get you some CoTrader token. Uh, it might take a minute or two to uh, process the transaction. Okay, then you'll want to do the same thing for Bancor token. So you can just click here on this little triangle here. You can search for BNT. Uh, there's Bancor. And you're going to go through the same process. Put the same amount of ETH that you put up here for CoTrader, and you're going to swap. You're going to get both of those tokens now in your wallet. Okay, you're loaded up and ready to go. Okay, just as a reminder, you can buy CoTrader at any one of these exchanges, although I do recommend 1inch because it'll get you the best price. Okay, now it's time to stake. Now we're going to do this on Bancor, so let's head over to that pool on Bancor that has CoTrader and BNT. I will provide the direct link in the description below. Okay, so here we are at the pool, and you'll notice at the top it says Add Liquidity. That's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to add our CoTrader and BNT tokens in equal value into this pool. Now, just like before, make sure your wallet's connected. If not, go ahead and click Connect Wallet until your account number showing up here. As soon as you do that, you'll notice that Bancor can read your balances directly from your MetaMask right here. So it doesn't matter which of these boxes I fill in. Whichever one I fill in, the other one is going to autofill with an equal value. Okay, so if I put in whatever, 20 uh, Bancor tokens here, it knows exactly how much CoTrader that is. And then I can go ahead and supply that. I click that. It's going to ask to approve the token. Unlimited approval, waiting for confirmation. So go ahead and approve all the transactions. There will be three in total, one for each of the coins, if you've never used Bancor before with these coins, and one for staking itself. Okay, so once that's gone through, you can actually check on your status in the pool by clicking Portfolio over here and Pool Token up here. And there it is. There's our CoTrader pool. It says our value in the pool and our token breakdown, plus options to add more liquidity or unstake by clicking Remove. And that's it. You are now staked in CoTrader. In the next video, I'll explain how to use CoTrader.com to have the best traders out there optimize all this DeFi and token pool APR earnings for you on multiple blockchains, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, where the gas fees are very low right now, and more coming. Now along with this, they're also going to be doing liquidity mining, or LM, which gives you even more added APR rewards on top of that for staking, like I've shown you today. Now liquidity mining often sends tokens 10 to 100 times higher in price as other people are buying in to take advantage of those rewards, so you don't want to miss that one. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe bell, and I'll see you for the next video.